What's up, I'm Tyler Casey, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do those RGB brother type fire effects with our free pack. What you're gonna need to do is download our free pack off our website, Cinepacks. The link's right down there in the description, so just download that and unzip it. We have a bunch of free packs on there for you guys to try out. We have paid versions of these, but you're not gonna need that for this tutorial. All the effects you saw in that clip are done with our sample pack. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys this in Premiere Pro, but this works in any editor, so just follow along and the steps are pretty much the same. So let's hop right into it. Right here we have a coupon. If you click that, you're gonna get $5 off any of our full version packs and here's a sample pack. It comes with a bunch of fire assets and then here's a LUT right here. We're not gonna use the LUT today, so I dragged everything into Premiere. So we pretty much have everything. We have a bunch of bursts and then I'm pretty, and then we have a sound effect as well. So we created all these assets. They're all 4K, super high quality. So here's the clip I'm gonna be working with today. It's uh, from a music video I directed and I'm just gonna do a bunch of effects over it. So really we could just start off with, uh, what's this right here? It's a little fireball, let's try something else. Let's start with the basic fire transition. I think I'm gonna go fire transition into the main scene. We're gonna scale that to frame size. Let me actually zoom it in a little bit. And to apply these effects, just overlay them, turn on screen on the blending mode, and then it overlays just like that. To get that RGB brother type look, we're gonna use color balance HLS. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keyframe it. So we're gonna start on a color, just move the hue over. We're gonna go to the end and we're just gonna get it rocking. So I'm gonna have to render that out. So let's see what that looks like. So as you can see, we're changing colors. It's not super fast, but it's pretty gradual. We go from green to blue to pink. So that's really cool. So I think I want some embers in there as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag on the embers here we go i think these even have like a little bit of fire in them you know what? i'm gonna do them the whole time because i think there's a little bit of fire in the middle yeah see there we go so i like the way that looks so what i'm gonna do as well is i'm gonna do the hls on that as well what we can do is we can really just copy this over like that and we can delete these keyframes we can make our own so we'll go to the beginning and let's go like i don't know we could go really far over and then we can make this one spin really fast if we want. You can really play around with it, get whatever you want. I'm just doing some random stuff here. Let's see what it looks like. So as you can see now, the embers are slowly changing colors. There's all different colors in there. So it kind of cycles through all the colors. So it kind of gives it a cool look. So now what else we can do is we could play with some of these fires. Uh, let's check out some of these fireballs I have. So that one's really cool right there same thing we're just going to change it to screen you can also try lighten color as well but i think i'm going to stick with screen today i think i want like a fireball coming from like that guy right there yeah like a little explosion over him yeah that's really cool and then i think i want to keyframe it i want it to like zoom up as well so let's see i want it to like yeah something like that that'd be cool yeah, that's really cool. So same thing, uh, we're just gonna drag on HLS, hue, change that a little bit, and let's see what colors we get with this one. Let's make this one go really far. I'm gonna make this one cycle through colors really fast. So let's see how that looks. That's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. It's almost a little too much. Let's slow it down just a little bit. We can also throw in a sound effect. The full pack comes with a bunch more embers and whatnot, but you can definitely pull this effect off with just the sample pack. And there's a lot better sound effects in the full version, but that's totally fine without it. So yeah, I mean, that works. Definitely, I would like to use more sound effects, but if you have the music playing, that should work as well. But yeah, it's a super easy effect to pull off and it's really simple. This works in any editor. You just have to play around with the hue and keyframe it to give it that RGB look. So I hope you guys found that useful. And if you guys are interested in getting the full fire effects pack, make sure to click that coupon code. You're gonna get $5 off. The full pack comes with tons more embers, tons more bursts. It comes with a bunch of sound effects that you guys can utilize to really make a lot of fire effects in your videos. We put a lot of work into these packs. We made everything ourselves and we wanted to price them at a really affordable price. It's only $30 with the coupon that I gave you guys. So make sure to check that out. I hope you guys enjoy the sample pack. Make sure to follow us at Cinepax on Instagram. I'm Tyler Casey. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.